technically you can charge your Tesla for free without paying an ongoing cost if you have a solar panel and battery system installed. But in this video I'm talking about a method where you don't need to spend any money beforehand to enable free charging. Take me down to the river where the peace won't run dry. Gather at the river where my soul comes to life and I So first thing you need to do is install and open the PlugShare app and go into the filters for this one and you can choose free charge on the amenities as well as you need to have either your vehicle selected or you can choose the plugs that you can use to charge your car. Like if you have a type 2 cable you can enable this one as well. So let's uh, view as it is showing in the map it's one location and that's the location we are at. And if you go into the location, it's going to show you where the charger is and you would be able to see roughly the location where you uh, want to find because usually these locations are not that easy to spot because they might be in a parking lot and especially for a place like University of Queensland, which does have a big campus, it could be hard to initially find it. So I would recommend read through the information. Let's hope the charges are free. And uh, I see one car already there, but it seems the other charger is free, so let's go and plug in the car. So it seems the charger we connected to is not the fast charger that's been occupied by that car and I'll see when he leaves I'll be switching my car with that one but as you can see this one's giving out 12 kilowatt per hour speed at 16 amps. As far as the current charging rate is concerned it's showing me 5 hours to charge and I'm not planning to actually do it to 100% I'm just planning to do it 80 but uh, I would be using the other charger to quickly top up but I'll wait for the guy to leave. That brings us to drawbacks that could be attached to these free chargers because since they're free so the demand for them will be quite high and I just came to know that there's like two chargers one is 50 uh, kilowatt hours and the one that I'm using peaked out at 12 so that's not as good as I was hoping. I've heard earlier there was like a Tesla charger which was giving 11 or 12, 22 kilowatts. I'm not too sure anymore. Maybe it was 11 and this was an upgrade. But nonetheless, it's free. But uh, rather than just spending like half an hour or so, I might have to wait for three hours if I continue on charging this one, which I don't plan to do, certainly. And uh, there's a limit of charging here. So you can only charge per sitting or per parking for like half an hour. Now, while you're waiting, you have multiple options of things to do. You can uh, sit in the car and enjoy your YouTube or Netflix or you can go for a walk because this university does have quite a good uh, parks and things around and you, that way you can just take a uh, route there and there's a couple of cafes around as well so it's not a bad spot as far as stopping for a car charge is concerned and given that it's free it's amazing The other car is just leaving. Woo! Now for this one, we are going to use the CCS port. And you can always spot them either by like the design of the port or by just looking at what it says. To unlock the charge port, there's no button on these ones because this, this is a like third party. So you can always click it. Push it like this. It's firmly uh, pushed in signal is blue hopefully that turns in green soon you might actually have to do and hit the start button yep and that enables the linking of the car to the charger
as you can see the car LED indicator for charging status turned green which means it's charging and let's go inside the car and see what's the status of the charge or uh, what's the speed we will be getting now but uh, as you can see it's like although it's weekend the spot's a bit free but uh, if you are in the area if, like today I'm planning to go towards Gold Coast so this is like midway for me to uh, stop and uh, do a quick top up and hence sort of drive for free for today it's not a thing which I can do every day but nonetheless if someone who can it's not too bad oh, that's a new pop-up even the car suggests play while you wait and as you can see we're getting a speed of 300 kilometers per hour or 45 kilometers or 45 kilowatts sorry and that's the thing like if we are charging at this rate at a supercharger we would be paying at least 20 bucks for a session uh, that's for an hour charging the car for 45 kilowatts and it's a different feeling altogether to be able to drive your car for free like imagine if you're in college and you're with a group of friends and you have the freedom to drive for free how crazy it would have been like if we had this sort of freedom in college thanks for tagging along and hopefully uh, I'll be here for half an hour or so because I don't need a full charge I just need in total like 100 kilometers top up on top of this 100 we already have so I don't plan to stay here for more than half an hour I'll just uh, watch something on Netflix well thanks a lot for watching the video and if you are still here leave a comment in the comment section to show your support and please do like and share the video with all your friends and family who own an EV and would like to take advantage of such free charges until then not as simple as it might seem. Now you have to put in some efforts to click the available options on the map and read the description and comments as most of these free charges and uh, various venues where you have to be a guest like in hotels and apartments. But depending on the area you're in and your luck you might be able to find a charger like this one.